I've imagined many times sat in my room, drinking, genuinely questioning about life and should I take it? Should I end it? Um, I've been to that place, punching things and screaming and just basically sitting in how I'm just useless. And that was the kind of the word I'd speak of myself, that I'm just useless and I'm rubbish and I can't do anything. And I guess I'd just constantly feed myself in that place. Um, 21 years old I was, Kat's 22 when we got married. And a lot of people said it was too soon. We both sat down and said we've made a mistake. And we were thinking about how do we undo it? I'd tear things up, I'd be punching things and just uncontrollable rage at times. There's a feeling of, um, am I losing control? I, like, what is going on? Am I literally gonna be sanctioned? Am I gonna, you know, they're just, times I don't know there was just always something there where God was always nudging me and reminding me why we got married in the first place and that there was something in you that I loved from that first moment and that kind of I don't know it was God's sense that that would grow with us and that I needed to persevere and be strong in that and um, and it was by God's grace absolutely that I could do that because it certainly wasn't in my own strength or um, my own ability. In the midst of the, like, the darkest times in my life, what was that like for you? Um, hideous, in a word, <laughs> to be honest, if we're being really honest. I didn't know how to help you. Yeah, it was a choice. It was a choice for Kat and I remember actually we both sat down and said we've made a mistake. And we were thinking about how do we undo it? How do we start to have those kind of conversations and things like that? When we just said, you know, and actually we've said before God that we're gonna to stick together, that we're gonna do this, we're gonna do life together. So let's really try and work out how to do this. Because the things with feelings is that they change. I can't just trust feelings. Um, because one day I'll be feeling that God is up there or Kat loves me and this is great. And then the next day I'll be like, well, no, she doesn't or I'm not worthy or God doesn't love me anymore. And actually there's something about sitting in the truth that Kat said yes to me and she's committed to me. God has said yes to me, he's committed to me. And so working those aspects out um, has been really important. Come all you broken hearted did Jesus feel like going to the cross? No. <laughs> was he like, oh, this is, you know, this love is so fluffy and so nice and so... No, no, it was a choice. Come all you who are thirsty Come to the water Come to the water There's something about the overflow of my heart that when I remind myself of who God is and His grace and that it's reached me, I can't help but offer myself in worship. I can't help but show passion. Unfeeling love is waiting for us. Come to the water, there's always enough. Unfeeling love. God's grace is he chooses to be there even in our darkest moments. <laughs>